Barry Chase, a U.S. television and film lawyer, claimed that Netflix is looking for content that will cause a stir. However, he claimed that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex want to produce content that speaks to their particular desire to make a point. He alleged that the streaming giant will at some point pull the plug if Harry and Meghan are unable to produce anything that they regard as acceptably likely to cause a stir all on its own with the public. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced their deal with Netflix in September 2020 but they are yet to produce any content for the platform. While Mr. Chase said that the lack of content may not be a sign of any distress between the partners, however, he noted that there are always stresses and strains. He said, I don't think the lack of product so far is indicative of any distress. But there are always stresses and strains here. Harry and Meghan want to do something that speaks to their particular desire to make a point and Netflix may not feel that that's something that's going to sell very well. Because they are interested ultimately in the financial benefit they can get out of this association. But not short term, because they are a deep pocket. The exact details of the deal have not been disclosed but several reports have suggested it could be worth in excess of $100 million, £72 million. Their deal with Netflix came in the wake of their decision to step back from their roles as senior members of the royal family in March 2020. Announcing their deal with the streaming platform, the couple said, Our lives, both independent of each other, and as a couple have allowed us to understand the power of the human spirit, of courage, resilience, and the need for connection. Through our work with diverse communities and their environments, to shining a light on people and causes around the world, our focus will be on creating content that informs but also gives hope. As new parents, making inspirational family programming is also important to us, as is powerful storytelling through a truthful and relatable lens. We are pleased to work with Ted and the team at Netflix whose unprecedented reach will help us share impactful content that unlocks action. The couple also signed a major deal with Spotify worth £18 million. They have since produced just one 35-minute podcast episode. Another news, after making a surprise appearance at the Super Bowl alongside his cousin Princess Eugenie on Sunday, the Duke of Sussex visited the Los Angeles Rams locker room following the team's big win. Stafford said he chatted with Queen Elizabeth's grandson for a quick second, but the excitement in the room made it difficult to hear. He was talking to me for a quick second, but it was loud, tough to say what he said. Stafford said on his wife Kelly's podcast the morning after. It was loud in there, it was crazy. Stafford said there were a number of celebrities in the locker room but joked that being a prince is an all-access pass. The quarterback added that Prince Harry, 37, yapped it up with his teammate Cooper Cup, dubbing them lookalikes for their red beards. The Rams shared photos of Prince Harry checking out the Vince Lombardi trophy in the locker room after the team's victory over the Cincinnati Bengals. Harry sported a Rams baseball hat as he chatted with the team's owner, Stan Kroenke, who also owns the UK's Arsenal soccer club, of which Harry is a fan. Feeling like royalty, the team captioned the trio of snaps on Twitter. Prince Harry relocated to California in 2020 with wife Meghan Markle, who was born and raised in Los Angeles. Harry and Eugenie were among the many recognizable faces at the game in Inglewood, California, some of whom Harry brushed shoulders with. Cedric the Entertainer shared a photo shaking hands with the prince, while the Star Spangle Banner performer Mickey Guyton also posted on social media about her encounter with Harry. I met Prince Harry. He was just lovely. I even curtsied in my tracksuit, Guyton wrote in an Instagram post. She also shared the impromptu moment on her Instagram stories. Prince Harry is a lifelong sports fan, but this marked his first Super Bowl appearance. Princess Eugenie, 31 flew to California from her home in Windsor, England, where she lives with her husband Jack Brooksbank and their one-year-old son, August. Eugenie is the first known royal family member to visit the Duke and Duchess of Sussex at their new home in California, which they share with their two children, Archie, two, and Lily, eight months.